Another round of strike action by rail workers means just 20% of services are expected to run today. The 48-hour walkout by members of the RMT union is part of a long-running dispute over pay, jobs and conditions. Well, we're joined now by the chief negotiator for Network Rail, that's Tim Shoveler. Tim, good morning to you. So, um, are we any closer to an agreement? As we said, this second strike this week gets underway. It's a whole week of cancellations for passengers trying to get around the country. Where are we on these negotiations? Yes, it's quite unprecedented, this level of disruption. And let me start by, um, again, apologising to passengers uh, and uh, freight customers, and indeed those whose businesses have been affected by these strikes, which are unnecessary. Um, yeah, your question to what's happening. Well, yeah, we made an offer to the RMT that we'd like to sit down to clarify the offer that we made in December. Um, we said we'd sit down and meet as soon as the strikes are over, hoping they'll be called off before now. But in any event, we'll certainly meet next week. Um, and we'll get into conversations with the RMT about the, the offer that we made, which, as you know, is worth 9% over two years, and it's been accepted by two out of the three trade unions. So the RMT says that two-thirds of its members voted to reject that offer, um, the offer that you made. That's based on a pretty high turnout, 80%. Um, and therefore, based on those figures, it feels like there's very little movement. But I've been looking at an interview that your chief executive gave, and he says this all rests on just a few thousand people. You just need a few more thousand of those RMT vote, uh, workers who are striking to get this over the line. Are you confident you can get those numbers? Yes, absolutely. Um, because in the feedback that we've had since uh, the uh, referendum in December that the RMT did very quickly, they only uh, had it out there for, for just a week, um, as opposed to the two weeks that we agreed with them and expected it to be out there for. Um, and that was important because it is quite a complex deal. There are aspects of this that are reforming the way that maintenance is done. And that has undoubtedly raised questions uh, for our employees, really, really serious questions about uh, but for them and uh, should they take some of the options that we're giving. For example, we're giving people an option of joining a new contract that's got a higher salary. That works for some people. Um, and we want to be able to work and talk to them individually so they can understand if that's the right thing for them to do. Rushing it meant that actually there wasn't time to do that. We've had a lot of feedback since December to say people would like another vote, so they'd like, because now they do understand uh, the benefit of the deal for them, they've changed their view. And we can also see more staff coming back into work. That's been quite evident uh, during the course of this week and again this morning, where more employees are, are frankly getting fed up with the strike and are, are coming back in. But we do want to resolve this with the RMT, and we, we would like to get an agreement to do that. OK, Tim, um, it's good to have you with us this morning. Thanks so much. That's Chief Negotiator for Network Rail, Tim Shoveler there. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment, but first, a last brief look at the headlines where you are this morning. Hi there, good morning. Talks will take place today ahead of strikes by teachers next week. The Scottish Government is due to meet union representatives, but it's unlikely that a fresh pay offer will be made. Four unions represent